Welcome back to Think Alive. Today we're going to be showing you the all the groundworks basically and the trenches for the, the electric water and sewage and the burying the septic tank, the big hole we had to dig for that and making the driveway. Hi, we're Sharon and Andy. Welcome to Think Alive. In 2019 we bought a derelict Finca that used to be a bodega in the Mercia region of Spain. The building was an empty shell with no main services, water, electric or sewage and we're restoring it, doing all the work ourselves with the view to giving us an off-grid, debt-free home. In addition to this, self-sufficiency is very important to us so we're going to aim to produce as much of our own food as possible and the idea behind these videos is to log our progress but also to provide you with something you hopefully find interesting and informative. Please join us on our journey. Okay, so here's us starting to dig the huge hole for the septic tank and the soak away. That's the first scrape. What we thought would be quite straightforward took us the best part of a day just to dig the hole for the, the septic tank itself. Um, hours later, it's done and there you can see Eddie there headed off to collect the tank from the, from the workshop where it was living at the time. We put a strop on it and used the digger to move it up the land as we thought it would be a lot easier than us trying to do it ourselves. Um, it took a while, it, the digger's not very fast. Finally we reached the hole and um, it was simply a case of just getting it in there. The hole was exactly the right size, good old Eddie there and did a proper job. And so we just had to sort of manoeuvre it about and lower it into its final resting place, so to speak. There we have it, phase one complete, mission accomplished, it's in the hole. So once it's in the hole we were able to level it and then backfill it all, get it all filled in level. I'm ready now to do the soak away. Um, again, <laughs> another, another day's digging uh, through the solid concrete you like ground. The soak away is apparently about six six or eight meters long i can't remember exactly but equivalent to tons and tons of traditional soak away methods modern technology once that was all in place the, the plastic parts it was covered with a geo cloth and um, to stop any soil and stuff entering in, into the space and filled in then came the trenches from the septic tank all the way down to the house miles of trenches which we're obviously going to put all the other services in as well. Um, in this image you can see the fork to the left is where the cables for the solar were going to run off and enter the house. Um, the, ch the channel considered continued down the front of the house and this is the pipe, 63 millimeter pipe, 100 odd meters of it that went into the, into the trench. Not an easy task. With the pipe in place and we, I think we put about 80 meters in, so we had a, we've still got a bit left over if anybody needs some. Um, on this picture, you can see now the the solar cables for the solar panels on coming out of the left, ready for the solar panels to go in. So the pipe can it runs all the way down the front of the house, um, round the corner, 
to where it's sort of going to enter the house, but we've got a pumping station here. We had to have a pumping station because um, the septic tank is slightly uphill. So here you can see all the pipes in place. The left grey um, is from the main bathroom, the main ensuite bathroom in the main house. The top right grey comes from the, the utility room waste and the upstairs bathroom in the apartment. And the, the, big, the larger black pipe below centre is where it gets pumped up to the septic tank and with a non-return valve on that for obvious reasons. The smaller black pipe on the left is the water supply for the house and the black on the right is the armoured cable um, which we put in at the same time. We put all this in um, a, with a manhole inspection cover and you can see basically we just concreted it in and put the inspection covers on. Then it was just a case of um, backfilling all the trenches, filling everything and make it all look nice. You'd never know we'd been here, would you? <laughs> Looking at this. So after all that, this is all you can see. Um, in the foreground, the nearest is um, the breather for the septic tank. That's actually got um, a carbon filter on it, so no smells in it from there. Just behind that is the, the big, the main access tank, so it won't empty in at any point in the future. And in the distance, you can see, is the access cap for the soakaway. And that's it. Apart from a few weeds, everything's back as it was. With everything filled in, we could then start on the driveway itself. So we're just on the way to the house now. We're going to show you the original access to the property. Um, we mentioned before that we didn't have a proper road. This is the road. It's very bumpy and unmade. <laughs> and we're just coming up now to where we turn in, which is quite a, a tight turning and it's not ideal really. Just a bit further up, we'll show you in a bit, we actually decided to create a new entrance because this one is not ideal. Um, we have to go across our farmer's land here. A couple of outbuildings. He doesn't live here but he visits regularly. He's 92, he tells us every time he comes and his son must be about 70. In fact, this um, big pine tree you can see in the centre of this roundabout type thing, his mother planted when he was a boy, so it's very old. But we're just coming up the drive now. Very bumpy. So this is our house, we've put in a couple of fence posts and a chain. Um, but so that's basically it and um, we're going to show you now we got Eddie to dig out a new entrance for us. So we're at the top of the land starting the new entrance to the property. We showed you the old one before and obviously it's not ideal. Um, after it was all dug out this is the view looking back from the land. Um, still a ploughed field at the moment. <laughs> And looking from the, the track now at the finished entrance, um, that was all right, but the rest of it was still ploughed. So we, what we did on a damp day, we actually got the truck, put it in four-wheel drive, and drove up and down the land uh, to actually form the driveway itself. You can see the tracks. We put two railway sleepers in, buried them in as our antique gate farm-like gate posts. Um, and you can you can see the outline, the basic outline of the drive there now. This is what it looked like in December 2020. We actually lined it with um, your know, bigger stones to make it look a bit prettier. And as we mentioned earlier, these are the new gate posts that we put in. So this is the drive as it is today. Um, on the banks left and right, we've actually planted some bedding, flowering bedding plants which should look lovely in the summer. You can't tell at the minute but in a couple of years 
they should have spread nicely um, just down to the right is the entrance where we actually came in so it's not far up not much further up so basically we can go either way around this big olive tree either left or right we've lined it all with stones to try and make it look pretty um, I hope the wind's not too obtrusive and just to the right here we've made a little parking area we planted a couple of trees that will give us some shade so that's it for today's video um, I'm sorry we couldn't show it live so to speak but we actually did this work sort of started it 18 months or so ago um, but luckily we did take a lot of pictures and were able to talk you through it um, we hope you enjoyed it if so and you want to follow our progress please consider subscribing to the channel um, hit the subscribe button below check the bell to select all to receive notifications of future videos um, it doesn't cost anything thanks again for watching